Clint, on your cell phone, welcome to the Friday Flameout. Hey, thanks, J.D., for having me on. I, I want to file a complaint. Yes. That's okay. Yes. Uh, you know, they announced there were going to be uh, two debates for the gubernatorial primary for the Republicans. Yes. And you notice there's only two people that have been invited. And uh, actually two people missing from those two debates, uh, Deborah Medina and Larry Kilgore. Yep. Now, what are their names again? I'm sorry. Deborah Medina mm -hmm. and Larry Kilgore. Now, how can you have a primary debate with only half the candidates? Okay, and Deborah Medina and Michael Kilgore? Larry Kilgore. Sorry, Larry Kilgore. All right, look, um, listen, here's, you know, we've we've been working on some things here behind the scenes of the Wells Report, and, uh, and hopefully I want you to keep in touch with what we're doing here because we may have something for these people, all right? And uh, and one of the times, I guess what we did before was I, I, I really worked very, very hard at trying to get a presidential debate for the people that kept getting cut out of the presidential debates. Yeah. You know, I wanted to bring them all here. Duncan Hunter was one of those guys. He won the Texas straw poll, and the media decided that he wasn't a worthy enough candidate, so they didn't, so they didn't cover him. That's what ticks me off, man. Well, you know, we got to stop that. I mean, the media cannot be the the first arbiter of who gets to be our president. That is just insane. If you look at who they're putting out there for us in Texas, it's you got, you got a choice between uh, big government from Kay Bailey and big government from Rick Perry, and we have two other candidates that are small government. Yeah, 